Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome to the first episode of the 0-2400 to CR series with only LFG. What are the rules of this series? Well, completely fresh account and we are trying, not completely fresh, I've had it for a while, um, but you know, never really done PvP on it, has no achievements, has none of my achievements that I have on my main. Um, generally not playing with anyone from stream, no one I know, purely LFG, and then we do some check PvPs as well, make sure that, you know, we're not getting people that I have any connection to, um, or that might know what I'm doing, um, and for the most part, I think there's only been one or two times where that's even happened with someone who signed up from stream, and usually it's because they didn't know what I was doing. So, so happy because it's, it's gone largely well there. Um, why did I do this challenge? Well, to be honest, I felt that there wasn't much content similar to it. I know that a couple other people have done similar challenges, uh, but doing it completely fresh with no achievements and I guess no connections is similar to how I guess the majority of you would play the game, um, especially with the, the lack of gear as well. I don't have a massive gear advantage over everyone. It's more of a gear disadvantage. Kind of wish I did this at the start of the season as well. I think it would be fun to do this all season. So, you know, if you guys enjoy these series, these clips, let me know because next season I'll, I'll start from zero as well at the start of the season, just so, so the gearing isn't stupid. <laughs> um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you do want to watch any of it live, I've pulled a compilation of clips and then some of my own commentary over it. Um, if you want to watch any of it live, come and uh, check out the stream, give the stream a follow. Um, we have the full VODs there if you're a subscriber. Um, big thanks to all my Patreons uh, for all of you as well for subscribing and liking the videos and, and commenting um, and always appreciate your feedback, positive, constructive feedback on how to improve these videos because the first one I've done like this. So I'm really unsure of what I'm doing. Um, for anyone who knows me, I do all my videos in Windows Video Editor. So if you do know an easy video editor to use for a video like this, let me know. All right, guys, on to the clips, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Peace. Do we, maybe we just play with this uh, Windwalker, bro. Since zero. I feel like the DK never works. Okay, if no one responds to these, I'll post up my own ad and just say 951CR. And we'll like, we'll check PvP everyone signing up to make sure that like nobody's, nobody's sniping it from stream. Okay, Necrotian. Okay, maybe, maybe we just play with Necrotian to start off with voice. Okay. Okay, let's put him in the macro, hey. My gear's not too bad though, and he has low gear. He has lower HP than me. He also has a curse that reduces his damage for five minutes, I guess. Like... Yeah, he's just cursed right now. A sap on... I can see the rogue. Okay. Okay. Rally for him? No, it's like lining me. I'm blinded, I trinket that. Intervene. I'm gonna stun this guy for him. Let's pump here. I think we just go rogue, man. As much as like mm, I could have bannered here. I need to put this banner down and then disarm. I'm just gonna go rogue myself. Like just solo rogue while he he like deals with this guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna jump back on him. Kick the ring straight away. Nice, okay, I can shatter this. I have fear for this rogue as well. I just don't have a trinket. Fear the rogue? Okay, we get full fear on the rogue and I intervene. Full is combusting. We just need to kill now. Oh, it's got seed. Is he dead in this though? I can't even barely can kill the seed. Okay, we killed him. Oh, we might be dead though. I can, uh, what's it called? Use my heal though. Maybe I disarm here? He's got no evasion. Condemn? Condemn? Cool. Pog is blue. So the last game we played, a couple games we played went pretty well. 
This was sort of the game that I imagine tips him over the edge. Uh, I think I didn't play too well here. Um, I feel like it, it, it went all downhill from this point. Uh, but yeah, we, we got a couple wins. I think we got five or six. So we, so we, the strategy was with these cues to get to, to like 1100, 1200 CR. Um, this was really awkward. My mouse was kind of bugging out here. Um, when I left, I sort of couldn't spin, spin the camera around. Um, and I think he just gets soloed by this rogue here. Uh, <laughs> I sort of realized a bit too late. Um, you know, bad awareness from me. And uh, he survives for a little bit longer. And the Destro is looking looking pretty pretty juicy at him right now. We reflect one bolt, which is nice, um, which does huge damage back to him. Uh, but yeah, I actually had fear for that. So you know, it actually was my bad that we lost that one. Uh, but after this game, I think he was he was pretty quick to yeah leave the group, which is a shame because we did actually get to fourteen hundred CR. So. Uh, 1400 MMR, which would have been a nice start for, you know, even, even him as well. Um, but yeah, he, he, I think when I tried to join again, um, he dipped after this one. So yeah, this was our first Q session. Um, we'll, we'll skip a bit ahead into the, to the clip here. Uh, Rhett Affy, uh, <laughs> no, no one's really going to enjoy Rhett Affy. Um, we tried to do as much damage as possible. Uh, even just like swapping here disarm this guy because i'm so scared of dying you can see i'm not even like taking too much damage yet uh there's a bubble from the ret uh and we get coiled here we still don't have a i think we get a pvp trinket after this uh so at the moment we're running like pve trinkets uh like the mythic zero uh thing that you can use the question mark device and this ret just destroys us we're staying at 100 percent hp pretty much uh, the rally falls here. We don't really seem to get pressure on anything, and uh, we we fall apart on that one. And yeah, it wasn't wasn't looking too good for us because I think yeah, a couple seconds later, uh, our boy Necrotion he dipped. He dipped pretty quickly uh, as I was looking at my quantum device. So uh, we're back to the drawing board for a little bit longer. So it being about I think. 10 minutes in LFG. I'm um, just chilling here. Uh, I was doing like the more dailies and stuff. So I was kind of anxious to get somebody up there. Um, and I just lo looking for twos. I was originally like, I need a paladin. Um, and when I reposted it, um, we got a buzz. We got a 164 eye level prot. And I'm like, he had 2.0 XP on EU. And I'm like, is this guy a meme? Like, who the fuck is this 2.xp 164 eye level? Um, but you'll see what happens here. It's, it's, it's definitely pretty interesting. So the first game with a prot, we, we verse another prot, a prot Windwalker. Windwalker has similar gear to me, or a bit less, um, but the prot has considerably more. Uh, this this Paladin's playing Ash and Hallow, and the Ash and Hallow sort of cranks. Um, and I'm sort of pumping too. I fear the, the Divine Thing, and then I get ready to shatter. Um... I even put parry up so I can't be interrupted on the shadow by the, the monk and yeah, he falls over and we, we get that first one in the bag and it's looking pretty good for us to be honest. So the next game was a ret disc priest. Um, both of them, like the ret had similar gear to me and the disc priest had 35k HP. Um, we get the Ash and Hallow opener on again. I, I'm just getting like pumped so I just trink it instantly. Um, I parry as well because this red is pumping on me and we get that divine shield on us too from the uh whatever the thing is and we and we one shot him we just one shot this disc and at this point i'm sort of so we're trying to wonder like okay maybe this guy is actually insanely good so then um the game i think we played two or three more games after this so we're looking at sort of 1300 1400 cr um we versed fire mage rogue which i'm thinking you know this is this is game over for us 164 um, he gets the action hello, and I blaze storm the rogue out as well, so it's kind of perfect opener for us. Um, he gets blinded there, he trinkets immediately, um, and I get stunned. There's the bomb, I parry here, and he puts uh, the the mage bop on me, sorry, magic bop on me, like instantly, and I'm like, okay, maybe this guy is a little too good. I mean, we never said in the rules that we, we were going to exclude people who were too good, but this guy's kind of cranking. Like he's just playing kind of perfectly. 
um, in every game. And uh, this is when we had to <laughs> we had to sort of consider, you know, some people were, were complaining a little bit that it felt a little unfair um, to start the video out like this. And I, I largely agreed. So at this point, um, still doing my more dailies, we find a 187 eye level healer. I'm just stoked. We have a healer. Let's go um, instantly. I check him out. He's got an in insanely weird mog. A um, couple hundred games played. Somehow still has like no, no gear. We put him in the macro and it's uh, good to go. So our first game is against uh, a rogue disc. So kind of perfect first game for a warrior. I'm just cranking this disc. We get the mind games off. Um, our boy doesn't have to worry about too much. And I'm like on hyper awareness. Like the second this rogue pushes in, I'm like thinking, okay, I got to kill this guy, right? <laughs> I got to, I got to peel this dude as much as possible. Um, we get this, what's it called? Priest so low here and somehow unable to kill him. Like he's literally been on this health for like a minute and a half. Kick the penance, a trinket this stun, I think, to stun him. And like in two hits, he almost hits me. Like there was a point I hit 400 HP if you saw that. Um, so it's a very volatile game with this gear, and I'm just like, okay, we, we have to kill this priest now. Um, I go and just disarm rogue preemptively so I can stay as, as aggressive as possible because I want to chase and push in. And the rogue's having this strategy where he just disappears for long periods of the game, um, so I haven't really been seeing him too much. Um, I'm still scared to go at all into, into beast dance, and eventually uh, we get... The, the priest down, not without the rogue putting up a semi-decent fight to, to try and live this one out. Um, but we slowly grind him down, luckily. Um, think, think, we think that got a lot closer than I'd like it to be. So we did pretty well in this series. I um, think we, we got a couple decent points, uh, some pretty easy cues. And I think it was sort of like... I think we might have got to 1400 with this guy, maybe a little bit higher um, on the character. Uh, and at this point, I think people were sort of getting bored of, the, of just having the same guy um, over and over again. We reflect the hex there too, which is kind of cool. Um, we get silence as well, so I think this SP just kind of freaked out. Um, so my strategy at 1400 CR was to, to look for maybe an Arsham, um, something, somebody with a little bit more gear to push out that 1600. And this is all from one stream, so it was essentially... You know, just a, a big grind. I think we did a couple cues on LFG beforehand, uh, which I had the clips for, but they're kind of just boring. So to get the cap last week. Um, so yeah, these are all starting starting from now. Um, but we get the dub here. And then I think after this game, you know, chat sort of wanted to change up, change up of a healer. We get our combatant. Nice. So now we are at that 1400, ready to push. So um, we, we're big chilling here, sort of. We found this Resto Shammy. Um, seemed pretty pretty decent. He had much better gear than the other healers I've had. I think it was like 205 or 207 or something. Um, Shu Makateli. And the goal in these, the, these sessions was to push the big 1600. And due to my gear, a lot of games sort of look like this. We, we kind of countered their opener completely. I wasn't doing too much damage though. And I swapped into Beast Dance like I would on my main. And just instantly got one shot by the rook. <laughs> Something I'm definitely not used to. Um, but fortunately for us, we didn't verse too many rogue mages. And we had this pretty intense uh, warrior H power versus warrior Arsha matchup. Um, where I think this game went for, for a while. The warrior kind of similar gear to me. Um, but I was condemned. And I'd replaced both my trinkets now. So I was sort of in the pumping pumping zone, right? Just blaze storm to break that slow to keep up with his with his uh, H power, and uh, our boy Schumacher Telly is also pumping with the hexes, man. Uh, this dude was pretty pretty decent at the hexing the hexing game and the lava burst game. Definitely an offensive, maybe an Ellie Sham player previously. Um, I think the only the only mistakes he really made was was more defensive. Uh, offensively, he, he kind of played like a beast, and uh, we got we got into some dicey situations though, um, but. You know, he was pretty good at good at the dispels. He was uh, quick at a lot of stuff too. So, you know, it was, it was pretty pretty fortunate to have him have him for the grind um, because he was also just a nice dude too, which is a big big kind of you know. When I was doing this LFG, I was trying to look for nice people too. I didn't just want to play with toxic, you know, losers too much unless we were getting lots of rating, uh, in which case you know sometimes I would. Um, he does get he does get some pretty cool hexes though. Like I don't know how how intentional some of these hexes are, but he hexes him on the bop. Sorry, on the sack. So this guy is not even taking damage. 
the hex car break, um, which I think is pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I had Trinket and I stunned into the warrior, but he had Bop, so yeah, mega, mega unforge. For anyone wondering, I made Seifu's actually on my warrior. I didn't, didn't discuss that at the start. But here, um, we're kind of just bumping even more, pumping as hard as we can. We got that huge condemn pressure coming very, very soon to a, a supermarket near you. Um, and trying our best to just close this game out. That's, that's seeming to be one of the hardest things. Um, about being low geared, it's like you can kind of live for a while, but then then your offensive pressure is kind of so bad sometimes. Um, unless you get very lucky with the crits, uh, I swear. Like sometimes, like my my condemn does like less than my overpowered or my main. Uh, so you know that's kind of a feels bad. Um, trying to peel as much as possible as well. I feel like with low rated heals, like if you just peel a shit ton, you kind of like extend the game out. Also, they don't really feel the pressure too much and they don't overreact kind of stupidly. But here, um, I think he's trying to purge and he actually purges the, the big heal off. So we get a shatter kick, um, which is pretty awesome. We get, we get the kill there too. So so definitely definitely a pretty cool game. And uh, yeah, Schumacher totally pumped, man. We died to a lot of RMPs pretty much instantly, but uh, but the boy pumped. We met with our first big challenge here against a uh, warrior Arsham, um, and the warrior had I think a couple thousand HP on me, pretty considerable. Uh, but you know, Shumakatelli kind of live lorded, and I was pretty much intervening and peeling on cooldown. Uh, you can see it at eighty-seven percent. This dude has more health for me, so um, yeah, I was pretty scared here, especially especially with the damn that this guy was doing. But he was Kyrian. He wasn't condemned. I feel like if he's condemned, I'd probably be dead. Um, quite a while ago, and yeah, we, we seem to get some decent pressure out here too. Uh, sorry about those follow alerts. Those aren't like current there. They're coming from uh, the stream as well because I, I forgot to record this stuff as well as stream. So yeah, my bad on that. I'll try and fix that for later. Um, there is a point here where I'm like, shit, I'm in a slow. Shumakatelli is he's feeling a little low, but he gets his kick, which is nice. So he's actually really, really good with those shears and kicks and purges and stuff. Like, plays pretty insane. Um, so we definitely lucked out with him for our push. But even at 1600, you know, these guys are faking pretty consistently. Um, it's pretty crazy how, how much the standard has increased for, like, low CR players compared to high CR players. Um, like, over the last, like, you know, couple of years, I'd even say. Um, so t definitely pretty cool to see that. Uh, we, we do some big pump here and, you know, I don't even know what I was doing. I disarmed that guy because I was getting scared because the rally's about to form. We're both pretty low. And when this rally falls, it's like we're looking pretty dire, right? This dude's pumping right now. I'm trying to get his, the big condemns off and try and finish him off as soon as possible. Um, our condemns are just going back to back, critting for a whole 5k. We get the parry back out too. So parry intervene, um, which saves him. And then... Uh, yeah, we close the game out here in, in a couple seconds. And then for us, 1600 in twos, we are looking at pumping this rogue disc. This is a good comp for us to verse, uh, but I do notice the rogue's HP, 36.2k, and I'm still at that 31k, 32k sort of threshold. Um, I parry into beam because I know rogues can one shot, and what I want to do is just peel this rogue and not let him play the game and slowly win. Um, be as annoying as possible to this guy and hopefully not die myself. We get the fear there on the priest and I blaze storm so he can't stun me as well. Uh, I go into D stance because I'm going behind the pillar. I'm probably playing like a lot better defensively than I do uh, in oh, on my main even just because I'm I'm scared as fuck. And we, we get this intervene, which gets a kidney shot, which is awesome because it's an assassin rogue, right? So he doesn't actually have uh, reliable stuns. And fortunately, the mind games, um, the mind games still goes off, but he wasn't stunned. Like, imagine if that stun landed. We got really lucky. Uh, this is looking really dire, right? I'm at 7k HP. Shumikatelli is just stabilizing. Um, I get blinded for one second or something, and I just insta trinket disarm so it can stabilize, and I want to go aggressive as possible. Uh, we hit the priest, and he gets this nice hex off as the priest is running away. 
and we start to pressure the rogue. He's got no evasion. I'm not sure how much longer the game goes here, but I, I, I have a feeling it might might be ended soon. Because we get this sharpen here into the kick. He's in condemn range, 1k, and we finish him off. And uh, fortunately, we get the 1602s, I believe, from this, which is pretty cool. We get the challenger, we get to about 1700 MMR. So me and Shoemaker Tully were pumping, boys. We were, we were doing really, really well. But at that point, you know, I felt like, you know, to be true with the challenge, I'd leave abruptly after winning many times, uh, but also because the stream was ending. Um, and I was and I was pretty tired too. So it was a good session in twos. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'll do the threes part of it. So we got um, some rating in threes too. Uh, and again, the goal is 2400 CR in threes, but this is sort of the first episode. And I guess the learnings from this would be firstly, you know, you, you need to sort of just play with anyone up until that sort of 1300, 1400 rating bracket. Um, if you can get to that 1400, then you can start playing with healers. it will take you, especially if you're under geared. And at that point, it feels like with a healer, you can sort of start to learn and play together and, and improve. And the, and the session with Shumaker Telly was like two hours. Like this dude was just pumping. He was keen to queue. He was hungry for that 1600 too. Um, and we both got that rating done. Um, not sure if he was higher before and tanked down or something, but you know, he started around 1400 CR with me and then we sort of got to that 1600 CR. So there are good players out there. All of these people completely from LFG. We did have a good night. Um, and we're queuing it, you know, a good time too. It was like a Friday night. Um, the next two like streams were in threes so what i'm going to do is probably tomorrow the next day a couple days from now i'll have episode two where we start to go into the threes content largely twos was just to get that those gear upgrades get some conquest i'm not sure how much i'll focus on twos on this account uh because you know I, it is it is a threes video and the only way to get good groups in threes lfg is to play lots of threes uh, so what we'll have for the next video is we're going to look at what CR I got to in threes by the end of the week. Obviously people who watch stream know you can probably armory this too. Um, if you're, if you're really interested, um, and we're going to talk a little bit more about the strategy in threes because the strategy in twos for me was essentially queue with whoever I can try and find the highest eye level healer, uh, without necessarily like breaking the rules of the challenge and, or breaking the spirit of the challenge, which is, you know, somebody who has huge CR joins, you know, uh, playing with them and over over everyone else like I wanted to find people who were who were same CR as me um, but really really cool session it was it was cool to go from that zero to 1600 and hopefully um, next video we see sort of where I get to in threes and what my what my strategy is in the future too if you've enjoyed this video if you've enjoyed these clips um, if you have any feedback as well because uh, I don't know how to edit these really I mean, sort of cutting and copying them down. If there's some commentary you want before the games, um, or if you think there's something important I need to talk about, let me know. If you want to watch these games live, um, so right now you're watching the Twitch stream, um, check out twitch.tv worried XYZ. Um, we stream kind of like 10 p.m. to 12 p.m. AEST, so kind of midday for EU, morning for NA. Um, check that out. Hope you enjoy it. We have VODs there too. Uh, unfortunately, the VODs are sub only, but if you want to watch the whole thing, you know, if you subscribe to the Twitch channel, you'll you'll see uh, the VODs with like three or four hours of, uh, of gameplay there. So um, finally, big thanks to all my Patreons. Uh, if you're interested in any warrior coaching, you want exclusive videos on rotations, macros, all this kind of stuff, uh, check out the Patreon as well. Um, at the lowest tier, you have access to all that kind of good stuff. All right, guys, take it easy. Peace out.